Hello everyone, my name is Sosser and today I'll be recommending 3 great and underrated, at least in my opinion, indie games that you should get right now. Links to buy these games on Steam will be in the description if any of you want to try them out. These games are just great, so let's just get into it. The first game is Pixross. This is a puzzle game that is quite peaceful and, and nice. The gameplay is essentially a Picross or Nonogram game. If you don't know what that is, I didn't either, so here's the Wikipedia definition. Nonograms are picture logic puzzles in which cells in a grid must be colored or left blank according to numbers at the side of the grid to reveal a hidden pixel art like picture. The title is a mix of Picross and Pixel because the pictures you make are pixel art. The game is heavily underrated, and if any game devs are watching, you might recognize the person who made the game, Kenny. Kenny makes a bunch of free art assets for anyone to use, and they are really high quality. I really recommend Pixross, as it's a really good game. Unfortunately, it bombed alongside of Kenny's other game, but I'm hoping that this video will get people to consider buying it. Next up is Pikuniku. This one is probably the most popular of the games I'm discussing, but I don't care. This game is fantastic, funny, and overall a good time. It is a really silly game that doesn't take itself seriously, and the gameplay is fun too. If you have ever watched one of my more recent videos, I use a lot of Piku Niku music in the background because the music is just so nice in the game. So I really recommend to go and try it out. And finally, Painted Town Red. You may or may not know this game, but it is a blast. Painted Town Red is a crazy melee game where you have to kill everyone in the level, and it can get brutal. You can punch, whack, stab, slice, shoot, shockwave, smite, or just punch someone's head off if you feel like it. I was first introduced to this game by the YouTuber Captain Sauce years ago, and I recently bought it again to see if it was any good or if I only enjoyed it for nostalgia. I love this game even more than I did back then. The game is just so much fun, and while there aren't that many levels, they all have a lot of replay value because of modifiers. Modifiers are options you can turn on or off in a level, and some of them make the game really crazy, such as zero gravity, weak enemies, and green, which turns all blood in the game into flowers. Yeah. There is also workshop support, which means you can make levels with a built-in editor and then upload them for people to play, and some of these levels are really fun. However, there are also two other game modes, Beneath and Arena. Beneath is a roguelike where you fight through monsters, and I've always been too much of a coward to play it. Arena is cool, and even has an endless mode which I always found fun to play. Painted Town Red is great. Please play it. And that's all. Those are three great indie games that I totally recommend you to play and try out for yourself. And if you made it this far, please consider subscribing. My goal for this year is to reach 500 subscribers, so your support would be very much appreciated. That's all for me. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.